Hi everyone, welcome to Data Analytics Blog. And in this dashboard, I'm going to be walking you through how to create a sales dashboard in Tableau. Yes, we are going to be working on Tableau in this week. So I'm going to be showing you how to work around Tableau, how to create calculated feed in Tableau, how to create charts, how to format charts, and also how to build a beautiful dashboard in Tableau. So this particular tutorial is going to be divided into two. So the first part is I'm going to explain how to, I will show you how to create calculated feed. And the second part will be how to create the, or the chart and format chart and also how to be able to walk through the dashboard. So we are going to be having two tutorial, two video tutorial on this particular dashboard. And the reason for this is for us to be uh, to be able to understand uh, these two aspects very well. For us to be able to understand how to work around Tableau, how to use Tableau interface, how to be able to calculate, to use calculated feed in Tableau, and also how to or how to be able to format chart and to create dashboard in Tableau. So this is the reading. And at the end of this tutorial, you are going to be learning new things in Tableau. You are going to be learning, even though it's your first time using Tableau, you'll be able to use Tableau. You'll be able to learn how to work around Tableau. So guys, if this is your first time in, in, on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Yes, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you hold the, uh, put on your notification button to be able to receive updates on all the tutorial that I'll be sharing every week. So on this dashboard, this dashboard is about or uh, year to day sales. So I got I got this uh, the data online, and I thought to also share it because I've al always been wanting to share our uh, tutorial on Tableau. So well, I feel this is a good step for us to be able to understand Tableau. So I'm going to be sharing. Uh, so the, the dashboard is about sales. So we are all familiar with sales dashboard. So this is another way to create sales dashboard in Tableau. So I did my analysis based on the total quantity, total sales and profit. Also, the, uh, I, uh, the previous years, the current years uh, versus the previous year. So these are all the information that is on the or uh, this dashboard. So now it's time for us to start our analysis. Like I said, the first part of this video is going to be is going to be for what's it called? It's going to be for or our or analysis. So this is what we are going to be doing first. So now I'm going to be starting here. So this is Tableau interface. This is the dashboard interface. So I'm going to be starting on our by creating a new or oh, tableau open a new tableau or oh, worksheet so just go to file do that or oh, if you have your tableau open just open your tableau but because the tableau is already open so that's i'm opening a new worksheet in or oh, tableau it's already open too so let me limit it to so i have this here now so now i need to connect to my data so i'll go to connect to data and I have this here. So you might not have the interface like this. So of course, you will still see this here. So to connect to data, is that you have the Excel, depending on the uh, type of the data file that you have, whether it's Excel, text file, text file, you all know that text file is CSV file, Microsoft Asset, JSON, file, PDF, or any file that you have. So, but for the sake of this data, so I'm going to be putting the description where you can download the data from so that you can follow up so i'm going to be putting out uh, this particular data is text file so i'm going to be putting out this text file connect it to the text file then this is the data so i'll just open it so now we are having it here so this is the dashboard so this is where you can do all necessary or what we call cleaning in tableau so now, but we don't have much cleaning to do. So I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorial on Tableau that will help us to understand the interface for very well. But for the sake of this dashboard, we are not going to clean anything. So the next thing to do is to just go to our sheets to start working. 
so i'll go to sheet by clicking this place so preparing to connect so now here is the sheet so here is all the column in the table so you can see table this so this is where all our column is all the column all the information in the table so now we need to create some or calculated feed for us to be able to create our dashboard so now the first thing that i need to create is the year today so i'm going to be creating year today for the profit for this for the sales for the profit and for quantity so i'm going to create year today for each of these so now i already have all my or uh, what's it called all the formula written here so if you want it i'm going to be dropping it here but i'm i'm still going to ex explain so the reason why i put all my formula in a word document is because so that i'm not going to be having error while doing this but we can see all doing it together so now our first formula our first year today so i'm creating year today sales so now the first thing that i need to do now so i'll go back to this place then i will click on so this is where this arrow click on this arrow so just click on this arrow and you see calculated fee so click on calculated fee so now the first thing that i need to do is year to date sales that's the first thing that i need to do then i'll come right here then because it's a fixed year today i'm going to i'm getting i want to get the current year today so it's fixed one so i'm going to just i was just going to write so like i said i already put it down but i need to just show us how to do it so that we not have issue why we are writing our formula so that is the reason why i'm going to be using that from the so i'm just going to write fix so we have a fixed formula which is going to get us the current year fix then your column then sum sum or then our other date year first then our other date our other date then equals to then the maximum year which fresh the current year maximum max so we need to pick that year again then all that date all that date then close the brackets so it's already closed so i'm going to put another bracket okay then which what do you want to which current year do you want to pick that's the way the current sales year for sales for the current year then sales because i want like i say it's yet to date sales that i need to get then end your formula so we need to put end to it then close the bracket so it's asking me that there is error so i already understand where that error is coming from so i still need to put as i said that so you have to look at it very well so now i need to go and copy my let me copy my formula and see where the error is coming from so let me just copy it and put it let me check so fix some if oh it's some if some if you can see now some if the year so now i think our formula is correct now equals to maximum year eight it's so now let me just copy this and paste it here so now you can see that you see that this is correct then 
and so this is our formula so the calculation is valid so if the calculation is wrong it's going to tell us that the calculation is wrong so the calculation is valid now so just look at the formula hit sum if look at the bracket very well so all the bracket just note that so the reason why i'm copying this is because i was having some issue with it when i was doing it so immediately i write it and i get it i'll just write it down so that when i'm doing it i will not have any issue again so i'll just click ok so now i've done for year to date for sales so now i need to do year to date for profits so now all i need to do is to duplicate this year to date the calculated feed i just created duplicate it then now i will now edit the duplicate so now i will just write year to date profits profits then here all i need to do here is to change this space to profits then i will click ok so now the next thing now is i'll duplicate it again duplicate any of it then i'm going to do for quantity that's the quantity order so do the same thing so quantity i can just write my quantity this way so now i'll change this place to quantity other quantity yes we have other quantity then click ok now we have our first oh, calculated fit so now the next one that i need to do is my is our previous year or sales previous year profits the previous year sales previous years of uh, quantity so that's the next thing that we need to do now so now all i need to do again go back to where i put my formula so i've done with this is the year to date so this is the previous year so the difference between the, the previous year is just to subtract because we want to get this previous year if you subtract one from the current from the other date to get the previous year so that's what that's just the difference so we subtract it so we subtract one from this place in order to get the previous year so i'll just first for the sales i'll duplicate it then edit it then i will just what all i need to do here is just write py which is previous year then again come right here and subtract one from it let's check the last bracket here then subtract one from it so you can see now our calculation is valid click ok so do the same thing for quantity also duplicate the current the current year date then edit then i will just write previous year year previous year quantity again subtract one from it minus one so i will click ok and then i will do the same thing for my profit again duplicate it then i'm going to edit then write previous year py profits then subtract one again from it so i'm doing all this for us to be able to understand it better that's the reason so now we have done all the, our previous year now we've done our previous year so now the next thing that i need to calculate now is the year on year growth year on year that's the growth for sales year on year for profit and then year on year for quantity that's the next thing that we need to do now so i put all this down so that we remember all the calculation that we need to do so now year on year sales we all know that if you want to get our year on year we, we subtract the current year minus the previous year then divided by oh, the previous year so that's what we are going to do so i will just copy this then again go back to tableau and then create a new calculated fit then i will just see it year on year 
sales then i'll write this here that will be year on year sales will be let me write it straight year to date year to date sales minus previous py sales then close the bracket divided by py sales so i hope we get that that's what i did close the bracket then divided by py sales so now you can apply okay so now do the same calculate for or profit that's year on year profit so again open bracket year on year profit year to day profit minus previous year profit then close the bracket then divide it by previous year profit so we have that year so now again i'll do it for quantity so you will know the reason why we are creating all this because when we are when we start doing our charts you will understand the reason why we are creating all this because it is needed so quantity i'll write year on year quantity again open bracket year to date quantity minus previous year quantity close the bracket then divide it by previous year quantity so click ok so now we've calculated that now so now let's check for the next calculation that we need to do so the next calculation that we need to do is the margin for each of these so now this particular margin uh, we actually need it for this so let me show us why we need it so let's assume we have this here. So we need it for this, or uh, for us to have this symbol. We need it for this just because of this symbol. So that's why we are doing that margin. So now I need to. So how do I get this? How do I get this symbol? This increase and decrease symbol. All you need to do is again. So let me just quickly show us how to get that. So I inserted this. Go to, go to Word, then click on Insert, then click on Symbol. Because I already used them. That's why you have seen it in my recent. So, But if you have not, just click on More, then Area. Make sure the font is in Area, then you will see this. Then click on ins this and Insert. Then click on this also and Insert. So that is the ones. <laughs> so you will just copy them and use them in Tableau. So now for my sale, for my sales margin, if we are doing if year on year sales is less than zero, sorry, is greater than zero, then let it be increased. Let the symbol be this, which is increased. Else, if if it is less than zero, it will be decreased. Then then. So that is what we are doing. So I'm going to be using this. Then I'll copy this formula first. Then go back to my tableau. Then create a calculated fee, a new calculated fee. Then I will just write my sales margin percentage or decrease. You can just write decrease or percentage. So let's write percentage. So now, if, like I said, you can see the formula. If year on year sales, if year on year sales is greater than zero, is greater than zero, can see it. I hope I'm writing the okay. Sorry is greater than zero then use this then you in, include your uh, quote you are going to use this so i'll cut i'll cut this out of it oh no we are using a uh, yes that's what we are using okay so i need to go back 
so it is less than zero then i need to go and copy that again see i think i copy something else then use this but include your quotation so that it will not be seen it as error or as formula then or s if if it is now less than else if year on year sales is now less than zero is less than zero then so i need to go and copy that again with this decrease we use this then hand the formula so now you can see now so i'll just copy this then use it for the rest so then i'll click ok so i'm going to do for okay i don't even need to I duplicate it then i'm going to edit it duplicate it edit it then use it for profit margin percentage profit margin percentage then i'm going to change this to year on year profits you know we are dealing with profits now so all i need to do is to change it to year on year profits then click ok apply then click ok so now again do it for uh prop uh, for quantity so again rename it here then I will just write let's say quantity then here i will change this place to quantity then i will change this also to quantity so i will click ok so just make sure that everything is in right order so now we are done with that sales manager so what's our next what's our next we still have a lot to calculate so our next uh what's the call we are done with our sales manager our next oh uh, what's it called our next hmm so before this we need to calculate uh market share year to date you know i did fixed date fixed uh, year to date for sales and for uh the first sales but i need to do the market share that i'll be able it will give me the different sales for each region or for each category and segment segment so now i need i will just write copy this that's the only thing that i need here i will just copy this copy this you already know how to calculate year on year so this one is just for the fix not fixed now because i did fix the other time so year to date market share so i'll put it here hmm. okay so we have that here now so i'll click ok so now i'm going to do again for the previous year to date market share so so the difference between this one is because we are not using fix this one is going to give us for each category and uh, each parameter so that's what we are using here so let me just copy this py market share to make our work faster So now i'm going to click ok so i have for that now so now for this market share too i need to create the sales margin for it the sales margin for it so this is the sales margin so i'll just write sales margin market share or you will understand why we are creating this by the time we start our chat so it might not look meaningful now let's see oh let me just write it 
let me put this here first then I'm going to be changing something there so now I'll just write sales margin so so yeah now nah, you're having some error because this is not what I have here so I will just be changing it to market here changing it to the right stuff that I the right thing that I have so the other time that I did it this is not how oh, I put it down so that's why we are seeing some error here so now nah, different different spellings just spelling error so all i need to do is to just change it to the current one that i use okay so now it's showing us that our calculation is correct so i'm going to explain this this market share or sale margin so if uh if the sum of sale margin that's the market share because I did not calculate the previous year on year market share. So that's why you are seeing it like this. So if the sum, which is the, if that's the sum year to day market share minus sum previous year, which is the difference between the two of them is the year on year growth, year on year uh, sales. So if it is less than this, then we have, we let it give us less than previous year. If it is greater than, it, it will give us greater than previous year then but if it is no then no sales in different different year uh, in previous year that's what it's just telling us so now i need to the next calculation we need to do is this percentage difference that's the percentage difference between the the uh, what's it called the market here so i'll just write calculate percentage percentage difference That would be, oh, let's just check. So, year to date market share. I think there's a bracket before then. Yes, I said it. Year to date market share. Because if you do not write the right thing, it will be giving us error. So, I need to be sure. minus some previous years market year market share then we need to close this bracket close the bracket then divided by some So previous year market share so now we can now hand it we can hand it okay so that's okay we have that so the next one that i want to do now is i want to calculate the percentage increase that if the if the percentage the difference is greater than zero let it be increased and if it is great, less than zero let it be decreased so i'm going to be doing that i'll just copy that because i already show us how to do that first so i'll just copy this go back then create calculated fit then i'll write this oh I'll put it here then put just copy this okay so if the percentage difference is greater than this so that will be zero so now click ok click ok so now the next thing that I'll do is to duplicate this use it for decrease 
then edit this then i'll just write decrease decrease then remove this percentage decrease then if it is less than this so let me copy that i'll just copy this i'll copy this this is the only thing i'll just copy here so again put it here then apply okay so the last one is this which is no sales in that previous year so i'll just keep this copy this like this this is for sales margin then again calculate a create which is no sales then i'll put it here so if this is the sales margin Hmm. our sales margin our sales margin let me see how i created that sales margin did you calculate sales margin i did oh so i need to rewrite this so let me cancel this first so there's a mistake here this is my sales margin i need to edit it then rewrite it here sales margin then so now i'll create a new calculator that was why i'm not seeing it in my calculation oh no sales so i'll just put this here so oh so it's sales sales margin that i use so now no sales so i'll just put this here so now we are done with i think we are done with everything now yes we are done with everything we are done with everything we are done with all the calculated fee so you can see all the calculated fee that we did here from this percentage profit this you can see see the difference between so the difference between our so you can see now all our calculated fee you can see now that when you create a calculated fee, there is a there is a sign before this hash, which is different from the rest. So the, when you see a sign before the hash, that means these are the calculated fees that we created. These are the calculated fees that we created. So I think it's equals to sign before when you see equals to sign before ABC or before hash. So that means that particular column of is a calculated fee. So now we are done with all the calculated feed now. Now, make sure that you watch the next video for the chart, how to create and format chart, and also how to build the dashboard. So these are the necessary things that we need for the next video. So stay tuned and watch the next video for that. So like this video, share, make sure you share, comment, give me your feedback, like, share, and comment. So we'll see in the next class, in the next video.